Thank you very much, Chair Hassan, uh, Senator Romney. Good to see both of you today. Uh, I first want to say how appreciative that we are at the GAO of this subcommittee's continued interest in this work. Uh, it's very important. Uh, and, uh, you know, what we've seen is that persistence over time will, will pay off and that a number of these recommendations have been implemented. I've been very pleased, you know, we've made over 1,800 recommendations, 74% have been fully or partially implemented. It saved, as you noted uh, uh, in your opening statement, about $600 billion so far. You know, when we started this work with uh, Senator Coburn years ago, he predicted 300 billion. So he'd, he'd be, he wouldn't be surprised though uh, at where we are right now. And uh, there's many much more to do, though, and, and tens of billions of additional dollars that could be saved. This year's report, we recommend 100 new actions. For example, one is there are over 130 programs administered by 15 different agencies for expanding broadband throughout the country. Uh, these are all worthwhile efforts, but they could be better coordinated. We've recommended a national strategy where you could actually better measure, make sure there's good co coordination. Uh, Senator Romney, you mentioned disaster assistance. This year, you know, we uh, outlined 30 different uh, federal departments and agencies that are involved in that disaster recovery and response. And this has been developed over incrementally over a 40-year period of time. And with the advent of more frequent and severe uh, efforts, FEMA's stretch very thin, uh, and there needs to be a comprehensive look again at better ways to be able to deal with uh, people who are affected by disaster. So we've recommended uh, that that be taken a fresh look at and have a good reassessment. Uh, we've also recommended uh, in an area of, of providing support to tribes and their members uh, there are 22 programs that try to pr provide economic development and assistance at seven different agencies. Uh, there's supposed to be an Office of Native American Development and Commerce, but it hasn't had a director and hasn't been staffed since 2011. And so we're, you, know, you, you don't really have good leadership and coordination in that area. There's a first responder network authority that was set up to put uh, a, in place an interoperable system for police and firemen and all our first responders. Uh, they made some good progress in that area, but the authority needs to be reauthorized uh, in order to make sure that this network continues uh, and that they can collect billions of dollars in revenue to support the operation, maintenance, and improvement of this network going forward. Otherwise, the investment that's been made so far will be for naught. Uh, OPM, for example, we recommended that they do a better job identifying and removing ineligible uh, family members in the Federal Employee Health Benefit Program, which is the largest program in the country. They estimate uh, that there's anywhere from $360 million to almost a billion dollars in uh, improper payments because they haven't uh, done this effort. And Senator Romney, you're right. The government has a payment problem. It's got a fraud problem. I'd be happy to talk more about that in the, in the Q&A. Uh, then there's also, we recommend in a number of areas in the Defense Department, whether it's artificial intelligence strategies, how to dispose of unneeded military equipment, how to purchase commercial satellite imagery and analysis, and, and how to do predictive maintenance the lower the maintenance costs at DOD, there could be a much better job in managing fragmentation, overlap, and duplication within DOD uh, itself. Uh, and then there's a number of open recommendations we still have from prior work. One I'd mentioned in particular that CBOs already scored this one at over $140 billion in savings over a 10-year period of time, and that is to e equalize the payment process for evaluation services of doctors in their offices between doctors' offices at hospitals and those in private practice. Right now we pay more for the affiliation with the hospital. If we equalized it, and it would save beneficiaries money too on copays. So this, this is a win for the government. And I'm very concerned 
uh, and I know both of you are, with the fact that the Medicare Hospital Trust Fund is close to being depleted. So we have to look for ways, and we have other suggestions uh, as well. So uh, again, thank you for the opportunity to be here today, and I'm happy to respond to questions.